Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm waiting for my daughter to get out of her big test. She just graduated from school, from her college, so she is going to be a massage therapist. And right now she's taking the big test that she has to do. And so I'm waiting for her. So I figured I would come on and talk to you guys about some end of the year stuff. So one thing I want to talk to you about is I is the way we think about debt, right? So I am a person who does not pay. Um, I, I have a real issue with paying interest, which I know everybody does. I, if I have to pay interest, I'm not doing it. Okay. With that being said, um, I have had debt for the last year and a half and not really thinking of it as debt because, um, I'm not paying interest on it, right? It's on a zero interest. Well, it's still debt, and it's just frustrating to me, um, because back in the day when I was in debt up to my eyeballs and I was paying interest on everything, it weighed on me so bad. But what I didn't realize is even though I'm not paying interest on this debt, it's still weighing on me. And let me don't know down in the comments if you guys have ever had this similar kind of situation. So what happened was, I had a zero interest card and we had a big purchase coming up so we put it on the card rather than taking money out of savings and blah blah blah. So it, we wound up just taking our time, paying it off, paying, well, shortly after we, we got this debt, my, I wound up having my niece and my nephew, uh, teenagers. Um, moving in with us and we've had them for the last year and a half and so and I was working and my husband's working we've got the kids you know blah 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 I was not thinking anything really about <clears throat> this debt because I was just in survival mode you know trying to uh, do all of the things with the kids that you know are my niece and my nephew um, trying to keep work going, you know, just, um, just trying to survive. I was in survival mode. And when the kids left, I thought, okay, we have to either one, pay this debt off or, you know, just write a check for it out of savings or, um, you know, actually diligently pay it off monthly, which we were doing that for a little while. And then, um, cause we kind of started buckling down. We were doing that for a little while and then, uh, I had to quit working because of some medical stuff that I had going on. And then we went down to one income. Now, thankfully, um, my husband's income was the one that we paid everything with. My income was for savings, investments, whatnot, right? Well, when I quit working, we had to you know, obviously rework everything. There wasn't as much going into savings, yada, yada. And then fast forward, um, to just this, you know, about three or four weeks ago and my mother-in-law passed away and we wound up going to having to go to Nevada, um, on a fairly quick notice. Um, we weren't sure you know, she was sick for a while and we didn't really have a time frame that we were working with. And then she passed away and then we didn't know when the funeral service was or, you know, anything like that. So we didn't have a whole lot of time to plan this trip. So we wound up having to go to Nevada. Um, if we were going to fly, it was going to be about $2,500 and that was out. It's like, no, we're not doing that. Um, so we drove. Funny story is it wound up costing us about $3,000 because it was in Las Vegas. And I know there's always everything, there's always things going on in Las Vegas, right? Um, there was a Garth Brooks was in town. There was two big games, you know, whatever. And so we had like four or five days to try to plan this road trip uh, to Vegas. Well, all the, 
all the hotels were pretty expensive because of all of these things going on. Anyway, long story short, that cost about $3,000. <sighs> so, this card, let's go back to the card. Um, it was easier to put, you know, that trip on this card. Um, then it was to try to get cash out, blah, 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 try to carry cash around, you know, all of that. And so we put it on the card. Now that card is about $7,800. And the funny thing is, is I didn't realize how much it's been weighing on me, um, until I got this bill, um, that said it's now $7,800. And I about had a heart attack, you guys. I started crying. I started praying, not for money, but for, you know, the Lord just to show me, okay, what do I need to do? What, what, what is my next step? What, you know, help me come up with a plan. <clears throat> and it was so amazing because within two days, um, oh, this was so cool. So. I realized that December is a, you know, five paycheck month for us. And so we have an extra paycheck. Um, that same day that I kind of was realizing this, my husband comes home with a $2,000 check because they're doing something with their PTO at work. And so they cashed him out for the end of the year with his PTO. Um, so there was that. There's this extra paycheck. Um, there... I also, who, nobody, okay, so I got a hundred dollar check from the DMV, which I thought was hilarious. I've never gotten a check from the DMV. Anyway, hundred dollar check from there. And then also, um, at the end of the year in one of our savings accounts that we have, if we haven't used the money, it's our sinking funds account. If we haven't used the money that's in that account, I figure out, you know, what to do with it and whatever. And there's about a thousand dollars in that that's you know that we wound up not using and so <clears throat> I just thought it was hilarious that I found out about it and figured out a way to make a big payment on this all within a couple of days and I just think it's such a blessing um because I have until September to pay this off. okay so let me back up I could write a check for this but I don't want to take all that money out of our savings. So I'm going to pay it. Um, we're just going to cash flow it, right? I'm going to pay, pay some on it every month. We're just going to do it that way. Because even though it is driving me insane that we owe this much money, it also, I think, might drive me even more insane not to have, you know, that decent, you know, amount of a buffer in our savings account. So we're just going to pay it off. I mean, like not pay it off with a check, but just pay it off as we go. Um, yeah, I had no idea that this was weighing on me until I saw that bill and, oh, I hate debt. I hate debt with a passion. I also hate paying interest. So thank God I have not been paying interest this whole time. Um, which here's the thing. It's also made it easier to just not pay it because you know, the minimum payment on it is so low, although I never pay the minimum payment, I always pay more than that. But it's so low that it's not, I don't know, it just wasn't, it wasn't priority. Well, now it's a priority. And now we are going into baby step two mode, which if you don't know what that is, in the, like Dave Ramsey plan, his baby steps, um, baby step two is you know, all the extra money gets put towards your debt. And so that's kind of what we're doing. That's definitely what we're doing um, until this gets paid off. I am just so thankful that we are going to be able to put a big chunk towards this to get it knocked down to where it feels more manageable. And so I just wanted to tell you that this happens to everybody here. Here's another thing with this is people think, including myself, people think that, you know, you can game these credit cards. You can make a game of it and whatever, <clears throat> you know, and that you can win it. And it's true. I mean, you know, there's a lot of people who do that. But for 90% of people, they can't. 
Now, I'm not saying I'm not a credit card person because up until this point, I have done really well. Um, and I, I wasn't telling you, you know, some of these things to uh, give an excuse, just a reason as to how this happened. Um, it was just life, and now i got to clean it up. And so that's one of the things that I'm going to be doing uh, with the channel is I would like to do, like, how much am I putting on my, my debt this month or, you know, some sort of something like that. And I think it'd be kind of fun if we did that, say, at the end of the month or the beginning of the month. And then we can all tell each other, you know, like in the comments or whatever, like how much extra you're being able to put on your debt this month and that kind of thing. I just think it'd be kind of fun. Um, oh, I, I can't believe this happened. And so, I mean, I can in the grand scheme of things. I really can. But... It just, it happens to all of us. It happens to, I mean, happens to all kinds of us. So I just wanted to say, you're not alone. And I, you know, am, I don't know, kind of a money person. I, I'm not spectacular with it. I'm not even spectacular with being super frugal. Um, I might be more frugal than the next guy, but I'm sure as heck not like depression era frugal or anything like that. Um, there's just certain things that I do that are important to me that I put my money towards and other stuff I don't really care about. Which to me, that's what frugal means, right? You just, you take care of the important stuff and all of the other stuff that's not really important to you. You just, you don't, you don't want to spend money on that or whatever. So making sure that you have enough money for the things that you do that are important to you. <clears throat> anyway, I just thought I would let you know what's going on with me. Um, and so that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to figure out at the end of this month how much of a payment I will be able to make on this card. And then I will let you know in an upcoming video. So thank you guys for just listening to this. And let me know if you've been in this situation or if you're in debt right now. You know, what steps you're taking to get out of it. And I will talk to you in the next one. All right. Bye.